the power of art and music in conjunction with science can actually make make everything more memorable, more understandable, and accessible. Infographics and the visualization of quantitative information, to steal Edward Tufte's title, is, is, it, is it art and a science all of its own. It takes the data, it brings it to life visually. We decided we wanted a proprietary typeface. I chose Vitesse because it has a broad variety of weights. It feels chunky to me, like ice. And I felt that, you know, I wanted something that was a strong typographic element that would unify all the parts of the exhibition because we have a lot of diverse things here. Expressive typography, the idea is that you can take type by pushing it together and making it black here. It looks violent. Here the type is accelerating. Here we're showing cracks. Um, so this is all typographic. Um, what was tricky about developing this is um, this was the first time I've really worked with a scientist while developing a game and we you know wanted it to be able to communicate facts about climate change and the goal of the game is to try to maintain it to keep the sea levels from rising to prevent the city probably New York City from flooding. Uh, what we found difficult when we first started was um, it, we were headed in a way that was almost like a scientific simulation and we had so many variables and so many factors and the problem was with games there needs to be a real obvious cause and effect. When the player does something there has to be an effect so that they know what they're doing. I might, I might be losing New York now. Oh, I think I am. I just lost the game. Uh, but remember that someone who designs this first has to understand it themselves before they can approach it visually. It was funny because when we started out, we, it was almost like Marco had to give us a class just for us <laughs> because we had to be educated in his area.